Hey guys, Wolfboy1106 here. Um, it's been more than two months, so technically I lied to you. But I'm still glad to be back. I'm glad to be accepted back by you. And um, I'm going to give you a review. I'm going to talk a little bit about why I'm so late. Um, Basically, I was working on the Chin DVD, which will be available soon. Um, I did a short called Sleep Stalking, which is pretty much all done. Um, and I also shot a Super 8 short, which is uh, processing and getting transferred right now. So I haven't seen the footage yet, but it's coming in. So I've been pretty busy. Um, so uh, if you have any questions, just you know, ask me. But on with a review. And um, this is a movie from Ryan Nicholson. I believe this is his first movie or fa first uh, professional style quality movie um, um, live feed. And it's basically about these people, these teens, maybe, maybe not teens, maybe college students who are at this carnival, or they're in like China or something like that, or some Japan or something, and they decide to go into this like porno theater, and the owner of the theater sets up cameras in all the rooms and they kill people in the rooms. It's kind of like Hostel, in fact, uh, this cover actually kind of makes it look like Hostel in a way. But it's not really like Hostel very much. It's just kind of advertised that way. It's in the same type of torturous sh style. Um, I thought it was a pretty good movie. To be honest, I preferred Gutter Balls much, much more. Like, way, way, way more. Um, which is Ryan Nicholson's later movie. And he also did a few other ones. I know he did one called... Hanger, which I have yet to see, but I really want to see it. Um, I would review Gutter Balls, but that was already reviewed on the channel. I'm not sure if this was already reviewed. I can't look back and remember, so I tried browsing the YouTube channel, and this wasn't reviewed. But I'd say on the professional quality-ness, it was very digitally, and it wasn't very stylish when it came to the that portion of it. Um, it had a certain gore and effect style, but the style where it was shot, it wasn't shot like on a special type of film, or it wasn't shot like from special angles, or that really, that stuff really doesn't matter um, for a movie like this, but I don't, I don't know. It just was kind of typical sci-fi channel like <laughs> digital. Um, I liked it though. I thought it was um, a fun movie to watch. It's one that you'd watch with friends. There were a few little glitchy stuff that it seemed like was done way after. Like, um, a certain things seemed like they had like a grainy video, like uh, security camera filter on them, but they'd carry on to the next scene for like, I don't know, a split second. And I mean, I don't really care. I'm not that picky or anything. It's not like, oh no, it's a bad movie now that that messed up. But just little things like that were still in the movie, and it didn't seem like they went back to fix them. And that doesn't... <laughs> I don't care. There's people in the world that do care. I don't care. I'm just letting you guys know that this is not the perfect slasher masterpiece. Um, it was an entertaining film. I liked Gutter Balls better. I look forward to Hanger. Um, I give this four out of five stars. Very gory, very uh, over the top with a lot of things. Ryan Nicholson's movies are fairly disturbing in so many ways, and it's not always a good thing, but he likes to have fun with his movies. You can tell he likes to, I don't know, just challenge the audience, see what is possible to put out, what's the most ridiculous thing you can show in a movie without it affecting the story to a point where it's just a mindless, pointless 
death. I enjoyed it. It's a good start. So, four out of five stars. I'm Wolfboy1106. This is the House of Horror, week 10,000. I'm sorry I missed, like, you know, two months, maybe more, three months, something, of uh, reviewing, but I had to do it. But I needed the break. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, check out the new House of Horror website. I, I write on that site a lot, and I have a great time writing on there. Almost. Actually, no. I enjoy writing on there more than I, than I enjoy doing videos. And I'm not saying I dislike doing videos. I'm saying I enjoy writing way more. Um, this is still fun, though. And I love you all. So...